Yo, 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 everybody, we are back here again today for another exciting video talking to Harold Collie here in Mafia 3. And with you out there doing what you're doing, Christ, can't print copies fast enough. You have something for me. Horse. You want high end whores in the French ward? You go to Handsome Harry Rubber Show, Lou Marcano's hand picked man. Probably a safe bet that Lou funnels all his VIPs Harry's way. You like to fuck? Harry's the man you want to see. He's got it all covered. Hookers on the corner, porno shoots, and if you got the money, he'll let you live out your sickest fantasies. Usually a good idea to cut off the big money first. Hurt an asshole like Harry right out of the gate. <laughs> I can see the headlines now. New Bordeaux's Blue Bloods cotton sex scandal. <laughs> or maybe the city's dark, perverted heart. I'll see what kind of information I can get out of Harry's people about the operation. Nice. And the high rollers. The fellas running horse for handsome Harry will know what he's up to. All right, so we've got a couple people. You know what? It's obvious we should probably do an interrogation first. Interrogate some pimps. And that way, maybe we can find out like if there's a brothel somewhere. If there's you know a, a bigger, we got to do a hundred thousand damage here again. So, um, you know, obviously these these rackets that like the the capos lieutenants are running, obviously hold a bigger, you know, kind of game than just your run-of-the-mill kind of, you know, average racket, so I'm gonna stop here. Is this an enemy right in here in front of me? Nope. You can't go around poking at this. Maze my friend. Yours. Maze. What the fuck? Kill him! Gonna split you wide open. Huh? Okay. Hopefully this sentry will challenge me sooner rather than later. Yep. Boom. You're dead. Interrogate you. The plow house. How can I get to Harry? The boss has some VIP customers coming in. Sick fuckers who like to hurt the girls. Okay. I can tell you where they're gonna be. Sure. Don't leave town. Your ass is mine now. Oh. That's gonna hurt. Alright. So, we now can kill the kinky VIPs here. Still gotta do about 99,000 damage, but this should do a decent amount. Don't really know how far away we're going, but... Yeah, where are we off to? Ah, uh, down this way. Not too far away, and there's a couple kill missions along the sides of it, so be able to get a decent amount of damage done here for sure. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, yep, perfect driving right there. We're cracked. All right, so we're going this way, turning right. Up here on our right should be an area where we can uh, kill some VIPs. That guy, again, people just try to commit in this game. It's really good. Okay, so there's about three VIPs here in this building maybe or outside of here somewhere yes yeah, so out here somewhere there's some there's some VIPs that we're gonna have to you know put some work on here all right so we're doing we're trespassing a little bit all right so let's uh just gonna work on these guys one at a time here. Take this guy out first. I'm gonna take this guy out next. Staircase here, so this is gonna get us up to this one VIP up here. I, th I would imagine anyway. Okay, so now I'm confused. That's one down. Captain Pennies? Alright. But I can't keep it tiny for it's using it as a ball. Yeah. 
Telling you niggas in the mix oh. are the most gut. What? Whoa. He was just sitting there talking to her? What in the world? So we took them all out there. There's no more here. And there's one more here somewhere still. This guy. It's like he's on the ground floor. Make my life nice and easy. Brother Superior? Man, these guys are... Weird. Oh. Free her. Oh my god. What? In the world, man. Okay, so we still have to do about 38,000 damage here. I say we go... Let's take this guy out first. So let's, let's get out of here. First, let me grab this money. Okay, I don't know how to get out of here, to be honest. How do we even get in here in the first place? I literally don't, <laughs> don't remember how I got in here. I feel like it's got to be... Okay, what? This is the way out. This, this has got to be it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was so confused there for a second. No idea how to get out of there. So we only have about 100 meters to go, so honestly, I'm going to just run to this guy. He's pretty much right down this alleyway by the looks of it. About 3,600 damage remaining here. Alright, so we got a couple people around me. So they're in this building by the looks of it, so let's... Okay, I don't actually know how to get down there to them. I guess I have to go this way on the left, which kind of sucks. How do I get in here, man? This way, I guess. Okay. What happened to this dead hmm. motherfucker? I ain't giving up that easy. Nice. Easy. Sorry I went so silent there. I feel like I've been silent for a while, but, you know, what can you do? Alright, so we grab this vehicle here. I say now we probably just keep taking these guys out, honestly. I think if we killed, if we take out these three, we may actually uh, make enough money to uh, to take these guys out for good. You know, to, to, to take out this bracket at least. So that's good at least. Then we can you know, we can accomplish that. What a struggle, man. I didn't think I was that weak. I didn't think I was going to die that fast, but... I can't believe I didn't kill that guy in those bullets. That, that's the annoying thing with that pistol, though, is that it's not always easy to get a first get that initial kill with it unless you're kind of, you know, hitting your headshots and all that, but it's fine. It happens. Just got to, you know, kind of redeem ourselves here. It's no big deal in the end. Lost $255. That sucks. Excuse me, that sucks. We're not $255. That's a lot more money than that. We're only 255 meters away. 
All right, let's do this. I'm actually upset that we died there, but let me put my gun away. Actually, let me reload my gun and then put it away. A cop right there. Oh man, I don't even know. I guess we just kind of gotta gotta go for it. I mean. We could go for the stealth thing, but there's two of them watching kind of each direction, so it's not really much of an option in the end. Can I jump this? No. Hey, darling. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I guess we're going this way. There's a cop car going by. Nice. Huh. Oh. Oh. This boy's in heaven now. Gotta call for help. Nice. So he's up and about. He's searching for me, but it's a little bit too late for him. Just my Everybody run! Ah. All right, so we need to get about four grand more. Oh yeah, we take out that one last guy and we're good to go for sure. So I say we grab this vehicle here, head up to this last guy and take him out. Let's, uh, let's drive out this way, about 300 meters away. My plan is pretty much just to do what we usually do in some of these scenarios, just literally to just run in, kill the one guy we have to kill, and then get out, and uh, that way we can kind of, you know, head over to, uh, back to, uh, Mr. Collie, you know? Could have just killed that guy, I suppose, and that could have done it for us, but I'd rather just do the, do the mission here. Okay, so I assume they're in, in or around this building. Looks like they're in here. I can break in through this spot right here. So let's uh, let's do this. Nobody couldn't see that at all because it was in my way. But things were in my way. But we're good. Break in through the basement. Actually, wait. Can we just? Okay. Works for me. Don't even have to kill that guy. Go back to Mr. Collie and call it there. That works. That was probably easier than. I would have thought it would have been. All right. And off we go to uh, talk to Mr. Collie here. All right. And I'm hoping this second racket that we're going to have to do here isn't also going to be in a $100,000 racket. I'm hoping this is, hoping this one was the tough one and the other one's only going to be like 50K if that, you know, kind of thing. Okay, well, if that guy would get out of my way. All right, Mr. Collie, what you got for me? All right. Sounds like Handsome Harry's a little agitated. Apparently even his clientele can't get their jollies while being shot at. Is he back at the Blah House? He prefers to call it on Bel Jardin after the flower <laughs> shop it's attached to. But yeah, he's there. Probably wishing he had a tit he could cry into. <laughs> you a sick motherfucker, Carly, but thanks for the help. Impression I get is that Handsome Harry might not be so handsome once you're done with him. All right, we're only 215 meters away. Off we go. Let's go. 190 meters away from Handsome Harry Robichaux. Then once we take out Handsome Harry, we got one more racket to go, and then we can one step closer to Mr. Lou Marcano. All right. So how exactly am I meant to get right here probably? Oh, it's this place again. Okay. There's a lot of enemies here now. We don't fucking get a handle on this shit. Business is gonna dry up. Nothing kills the fellas pecker like the fear of getting shot up. The asshole doing this to us? He overplayed his hand. Now that handsome Harry's here, we got all the men we need to handle this situation. Who do you think you're fucking How? 
How, 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 how? All right. Stand up. Do it. No, no, you don't send reinforcements. You're kidding me, right? Reinforcements and police? No, this is not good. Whoa. Hey, there's a guy behind me now. There's a guy on both sides of me. Go, 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 go. He's over here. In my sight. Stop him for fuck's sake. All units be advised. Suspect located. On scene units engaging. Come on. No, no. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm not going to make you guys, you know, go through that portion with me again, as we usually do if we die that late into it. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys once we get back to Robo Show. And we've got him, guys. We got him. Nice. Hey, look. Cool. Did it a little more stealthy this time. Trouble. Trouble. Ain't no trouble here. Right in the back of the neck that time. We have secured the sex racket. Whew. All right, and we're going to give this to Cassandra because it's about time she gets a racket again. Like I said, we're kind of trying to, you know, give everybody, you know, equal amounts of stuff. So we're, she's going to get this territory in the end. We're locking down the French war. Right. But remember me the next time you have a district to divvy out. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're getting it. Don't stress. I'm not even really looking at the rewards or anything anymore. I'm just making sure that everybody gets an equal amount of, you know, rackets, districts, everything like that. So we handle business here. Not too bad. The Haitians come in and uh, take over this place. And then I think we've got one more to go, which is the drug trafficking uh, or the drug racket here. And that's the last uh, that's the last racket we'll have to worry about for this, uh, for this district. So... And they're not too far away. We're going to talk to Big Jim McCormick, who is about 200, and 200 or 300 meters or so away. And uh, hopefully, he'll be able to uh, tell us that we don't need to do $100,000 of damage. We only need to do like 50000 or even 30000 I miss those days where like the damage was so little that it you know, only took like a mission or two. Instead of, you know, like 80 missions like we're doing right now. Alright, so Big Jim is in this building here. Hopefully we don't have to talk to him too much. Kind of a weird spot to drive into, but it's fine. Yeah. Hey, my guy. Big Jim McCormick. Looks like a security guard or something, maybe. Maybe just a businessman. I don't hey, know. Jim. Got a gun. Never mind. Detective Jim McCormick. Detective. All right, detective. I heard you have a problem with Marcano's drug operation in the French ward. Boy, it's this whole city's problem. His man, Doc Gaston's burrowed down like a fucking cockroach. Pumping the whole city full of poison. Mm -hmm. Where's Doc Gaston operate out of? If I knew that, I'd have him in a cell. Biggest goddamn pusher in the city, and no one knows a fucking thing. Huh. The name Sal Marcano tends to do that to people. Fuck Sal Marcano. Best lead I've got is that one of Gaston's suppliers is coming to town. Gonna meet with one of Gaston's people. I can't get any closer, but your friend says you're good at getting information out of people. <laughs> I'll see what I can find out. All right. Don't be shy about knocking around some of Doc Gaston's boys. Probably the only way to get him to talk. Gaston's army dealers slinked up around the French war, put them down to take their cash. All right. Let's do some interrogating first, like we've been doing recently. Interrogate the pushers. That way maybe we'll get, you know, kind of a... a 
We, only, we do actually only have to do 50 grand this time, so hopefully it won't be too tough. I'm going to go over here and interrogate the pushers. See what they have to say to me here. I'm trying to get this cop too mad at us. But 100 meters away. Come on now. Alright, down we go here. This guy's only got a couple people here with him. This is trash. Grenade? No, dude. No, no. Come on, interrogate, interrogate, go. How's Dark Gaston running dope through town? We got a fucking ton of shit coming in by boat. I'll tell you where. Ah, sure. My crew is your crew. Elemental units, report to an orange Negro male in the French ward. Go, go. We're screwed. We are screwed. Alright. Okay. So we have to interrogate some more pushers, apparently. Actually, you know what? I mean, we're gonna die anyway. Let's go in here and try to kill this guy. Leave me out of this, boy. Go. Go. You see a welcome sign huh? anywhere? Can't stay here forever. Huh? Visual contact with suspect lost. No, oh, dude, I couldn't even kill him. I put eight bullets into him. Oh. Oh man, this is wild, man. Uh, this has been what well, probably the, the most destiny episode so far. Probably we've only died a couple times, so but still, probably most destiny any given episode so far. <sighs> it's all good though. It's, you know, just keep it going. We've only done like fifty dollars in damages, so still got a long ways to go yet. But you know. It's a process. We'll get there. We'll get there. I hope, anyway. Loading up the game. Come on. This is loading screen is taking forever. All right. We're back. Back in it. All right. So we can. We got to interrogate some more pushers or maybe merc some people. There's something over here, though. What's this? Destroy the drug resupply boats. That sounds like it'll be good. Let's do that. Let's see, uh, see what we can do, see what kind of damage we can do. We need to call uh, Cassandra's uh, person here at some point, because we really, 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 really need some more uh, some more ammo and such. Alright, can I just go right in through this door? Yep. That's the plan. Hit him where it hurts, and we go. Could literally get some friggin' ammo off of these guys or something. Yeah, there's some. Over here. In my sights, motherfucker. I mean, we're we're screwed. I mean, oh my god. What's with this friggin' smoke, man? Come on. Alright. So now let me uh, deal with that boat. That's about 10 grand in damage is done there. Take the money off the table. That's a little bit more damage being done. Uh, is there something else I can destroy down here? Yes, sir. 5 grand in damage done. Nice. Not too bad there. Now, 
Let's go take a guy out here. This guy up here probably. Lester Terriot. All right, only about 200 meters away. We can handle that. Hopefully, anyway. Didn't go too well the last time we tried to take somebody out. To be fair that we also had all the police on us and everybody else, but yeah, we definitely need to uh, resupply here pretty soon at uh, somewhere, anyway. You could get this one for police free. officer. So he, that police officer is going to, you know, turn his back here and give us the opportunity to, uh... Okay. Alright, I guess we're in combat now. It's like Christmas. This boy's mine. Why are you this way? Why are they all on this side? Damn it, time for a bit. Ooh! Oh! I've never done that before. Nice. Alright, handle business. How much damage do we have to do? Alright, we might actually be able to do it here. Come on, come on. I think there's like two or three uh, items in here that we can t destroy if I can figure out how to get to them. In here. What if I just like, I don't know. Not throw a Zemi. Where are my, what are my throwables? I want a nade and uh, throw that. Nice, 20 grand. All right, guys, well, we're going to call that the end of this episode. At the start of the next episode, we will go and talk to Big Jim McCormick and hopefully uh, take over yet another district. So as always, hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next episode, guys. Peace out.